Hey guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Homepage. Homepage is a highly customizable application dashboard. And once we're done hosting it, it will look something like this. And I'm going to show you also how to customize an info widget that's called. And there will also be a lot of customization that you can do. And I will show you where you can set that up. But first, let's go into Coolify and let's hit add a new project. I'm going to call it Homepage. Click on the production environment. Select Add a New Resource, and then search for Homepage. Select your server. And now we're almost done. Let's just shorten the domain name. I'm going to make it everything, And that's it. So let's go ahead and hit Deploy. All right, the containers have started. So now let's wait until this says healthy, and then we can visit the URL. So now that the container is healthy, let's visit the URL. And here we go. We have our customizable app dashboard hosted. And so now let me just show you how you would edit your dashboard. So you would go back into Coolify and hit the storages tab here. And in here, you will have several files. So we've got a bookmarks file, a custom CSS file, if you wanted to customize the CSS, some custom JavaScript file, uh, a Docker file, you get a Kubernetes file, a services file, and a settings, and finally a widgets file. So the ones that we're going to be editing is going to be the widgets file. But as you can see, it's very simple to make changes. So if I wanted to change something on the services here, you just simply edit it here and then hit save, and then you restart the container and your changes will be applied. So obviously it's not ideal to make your edits here. So what I would suggest is for example, here on the widgets, copy the text, then open it up in VS code and hit paste. So one thing that you do have to be aware of is that YAML uses spaces and your VS code or your IDE should also use spaces and not tabs. So make sure that you configure that first on your IDE so that the formatting is correct when you paste it back into Coolify. Let's go ahead and add an information widget. So I'm going to open the documentation, which is at gethomepage.dev. And if you click on the widgets here, the widgets tab at the top, there's a bunch of service widgets. And if you had self-hosted some of these, or if you have these services somewhere else, you can then display them using the service widgets. You would just copy it, put it in your IDE, modify it, and then copy paste that into the service.yaml file, services.yaml file. But we are going to just do an information widget because I don't actually have a service set up to show you guys that I'm self-hosting. So I'm just going to go ahead and use an information widget, which doesn't require any setup. So the one that we are going to be using is going to be the date and time. Let's go ahead and choose this one, but we're not going to use NL. We are going to use EN for English. So we are using the date time information widget. And then we will use this bit here. So change the locale to EN. And now that we're all ready, we're going to copy all of that and paste it in the widgets.yaml file. Hit save. And then scroll all the way to the top. Hit restart. And let's wait. Containers have restarted. So let's go back here. And as you can see, it automatically refreshed, actually. And here we have it. There is our information widget. The next thing that I'm going to show you is the documentation where you can view how to customize the rest of the dashboard. So you just go back into the services here. Um, you can visit the official website from this link here. There's a, a broken link on the website, but uh, you can just hit one of the tabs at the top. So you can learn how to use the configuration here. But I also found that the GitHub is also just as useful. So 
At the very bottom here, let's just hit the GitHub link. Right here, you'll be able to check out the documentation. But most importantly, there's also some examples. So if we go into the discussions, there's one about sharing your homepage. So click into the first result. And there is just a bunch of helpful posts about how to set up certain portions of your template. And uh, it's also neat just to get expiration and to find out what it is that you can do. So this is quite helpful. But other than that, I would go back to also the documentation. Obviously, it has most of what you need. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. We have successfully self-hosted homepage on Coolify and it was painless. The customization is quite straightforward as well. So with that, I will see you in the next video.